Last year, I shared a video on how I experienced echolocation and how you can too. But I received a couple emails from a couple of blind viewers who, who are now stranded and, and they don't know where they are and they just know that there's things in front of them. So I hope this video helps you get your way back home. Hey everyone, James Rath here. This is just a collaboration that I'm excited about and, and, and I just want to say thanks to Sunu for sponsoring this video. To those of you who are uninformed, this is the Sunu Band and this gives you echolocation through sonar radar technology. It emits its feedback through haptics and now voice services. In a video I made last year, I went over how the Sunu Band works and how I use it to incorporate my navigation in downtown Los Angeles. As a legally blind person, it helps me avoid obstacles from weight stuff, and I can tell from about 15 feet away when there's something that's approaching me. So, what does it feel like in this hallway? There's something within about four feet, five feet from my right, and then there's nothing in front of me. So just it's an open kind of gap that I'm feeling. And then as I move, there's definitely some feedback. It's very small feedback increments, and then wide gaps. So that's sort of how that feels. It's this, it's different vibrations that are giving off different signals. And these vibrations are usually pulses in different kind of rhythms. So it goes faster as things are moving in front of you or getting close to you. And then they sort of go in slower beats as they're further away. With the Sunu band on, I've never felt more confident with spatial awareness or navigating my own town and unfamiliar parts of it. But how do I know where I am sometimes? The company Sunu has been cooking up some amazing new features for the Sunu band. And I'm excited to share with you some of these things. These new updates include a phone finder, a compass, and a place finder. Let's see how these work. It's important to have your phone in proximity of the Sunu band. They use each other as a companion. You'll use the Sunu app to update the Sunu band frequently and to adjust your settings. Like an Apple Watch, you can find your phone using the Sunu band. The difference with the Sunu band is that it will keep ringing your phone until you turn it off. Ready to get your coffee? Yeah, you got your keys, you got your phone, got your wallet? Oh, no, okay. Yes, got it now. Just be sure to keep your phone on volume, unless you can hear the haptics. Once I calibrated the Sunu band, I was able to actually start using the compass, which is really cool. I never know what's east, west, south. Weast. Oh, east? I thought you said weast. Hey, uh, Elijah. Yeah. Do you like watching the sunset? Sometimes. Yeah, lucky you. So the sun's setting. There, there's a feature on here called a compass. Okay. So if I point my my, my sonar radar. Um, kind of like how I would at objects that I'm detecting, it should start detecting which direction I'm in. Okay, so west. It's right over here. Uh, and is that the direction the sun sets in? I think it sets in the east. West sets in, sets the, in the west, rises in the east. Or is it weast? Weast. It's weast. Weast. Regardless, I'm terrible at directions, so I appreciate this feature. Lastly is my favorite feature, the place finder. This has gotten me to go out into my city and just learn about the places that I've just been walking past this whole time but can never see. You know, as a blind person, I'm moving out and about in the city. I can smell things, I can hear things, and sometimes there's some unpleasant things. But I never really know what I'm walking past. I never really know what I'm missing. And with the place finder on my Sunu band, it's sitting there kind of narrating or, or letting me know that there's places over here that I should check out. Maybe new restaurants, maybe new places to hang out, cafes. It's been great. I've been discovering some new coffee shops and frankly, been having a good time. You um, you down to go get a coffee? Cool, all right. So right now I'm just entering the app uh, to look for the place finders. Menu, phone finder app, to place finder app. Just entering, place finder app. Macaroni Republic, the Redwood Bar and Grill. Mendocino Farms, Dan's Deli. Let's start heading this way, Let's see what we can find. So good news is the place finder and the Sunu band managed to find the blue bottle, but it's also 3 p.m. and I don't really want coffee or avocado toast, so you wanna just get some fast food? Yes, please, it's All right. starving. Cool, I'm not that LA. So to those of you who have bought the Sunu band and are either just excited about these features or maybe lost somewhere stranded and watching this video in a public space maybe, um, hope so these might help you and then make sure you update your student band and get these features for free. So as someone who navigates usually with a white cane or sighted guide, student band has been an awesome way to just sort of feel more independent and, and just have that extra feeling of confidence when I'm out navigating by myself. If you're interested in experiencing echolocation and sort of just having that sixth sense of independence 
uh, be sure to check out the Sunu band. Sunu.io is the website and, and use coupon code RATH, that's R-A-T-H, at checkout and you can get $20 off your order while supplies last. Thank you so much for checking out the video and be sure to check out a video that's generated just for you on the end card or if you want to learn more about Sunu, check out that link as well. I will hear you next time. Bye. Hey James, are we going to shoot this video? What's going on man? Foggy, there's something you need to know. I feel like this thing just kind of gives me superpowers and I don't know, I figured if I sort of just change up my whole persona identity that they're more likely to subscribe or, or hit that bell, like, leave a comment down below on what their favorite smart band is and why.